This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. In this exciting episode, we rediscover a sleeping industrial mammoth, an underground power station built by the British forces. We're the first explorers who venture inside this massive underground structure. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. On the internet, I found a possible interesting location with some old official pictures. So I went to Malta to check it out. I didn't know exactly where this underground structure was located, but I found some chimneys and some possible emergency exits. What many viewers don't know is that we often explore the unbeaten path. In contrast to most explorers, we invest a lot of time on the internet to research new places and try to enter places which haven't been explored before. Because we never have information and don't even know if we can get inside, we often have failures. My first trip to this place was also not going as expected. There's a lot of activity and I sneak to the possible entries. To my surprise, it turns out these emergency exits are air shafts. Oh, shit. There are a lot of holes in this part. This is the last option which I can check today. Maybe it's an old entry gate. Yeah. Just in the rear vent. Jesus, frustrating. So after trying for hours and hours, I failed. Tomorrow I'm gonna fly my drone and see if I can find the main entrance to the tunnel, but uh, that one we probably locked. Normally they have escape hatches or emergency exits, but uh, on the whole terrain, nothing. All air vents and uh, other stuff. I return home with no success, but I can't get this place out of my mind. I do a lot of preparation work and go back with Edwin from the United States. So we arrived parking spot of the main mission Woohoo! looking for it man it's gonna be epic yep let's hope we get inside we yeah we will <laughs> gonna be a little bit tricky <laughs> but uh, we'll manage we just had some good food we might be too fat now but <laughs> we'll do good. yeah this time i know exactly where to go but the chance we get inside is small oh my god it's a really long corridor mm -hmm. and they're really really old looks really promising but it's really hard to get down from here it's really tricky very oh well we find some other stuff eh? yeah. promising man promising. we have to continue and take more risks dark people in here yeah i know there are people i saw people with a bike coming here Still no entrance, but we're close. But this is a dead end. It's a difficult one. Everything is bricked. It looks like my second try is not going to work out either. All preparation efforts for nothing. We search for hours and suddenly... I guess I found a way in. I just have to check how deep it is here. <sighs> oh my god. Amazing if this would uh, be the entrance, man. We're inside. Time to get at one. <laughs> so it is this tiny entrance. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> We're in. At the best spot of the place, the toilet. <laughs> High five. Great. I think we should put on a dusk mask because. Uh, I already shit. <laughs> we got in first, they got shit. No COVID uh, regulations here. <laughs> so this is one of the entrances outside and literally every entrance has been completely bricked up like this one and this one too. It's a miracle we got in here. It's a miracle, yeah. This is probably the best underground power station in the world. 
It's massive. And it's like all cut out of rock. Dipu con il centro operativo. That's also like an engine. Let's hope it's not completely stripped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would really suck after all this effort. It's heritage, but... Uh... Yeah. Or maybe this was never here, because look, there's no cutouts in the floor or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was like a spare, in case they needed more energy. Yeah, yeah could be. Big fans. Yeah. Oh, those might be the air vents. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get down. This is probably one of the air vents. I tried to enter from above. Some kind of pumps. This underground power station was built in the 1930s by the British forces to power their installations. It was made underground so it could also provide electricity in case of a war. When the British military bases on Malta closed in 1979, it was handed over to an electricity company who kept it operational until 1992. Since then, it's forgotten and well closed from everybody. It's a real time capsule. Look at these. It's like to turn it on and off. Crusty. <laughs> That's what we like. Oh my God, oil tanks. Massive. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> you get high here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you look here, see, there's still it's oil. <laughs> Interesting. The float switch. You could see the float. Looks promising. High voltage. Oh yeah. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> Very cool. Look at that there. The English Electric Company. Glad it's amazing. Look how strong this guy is. Normally it's solid metal. And now... <laughs> what the hell? So what's the story? Those covers of the turbine made from wood. Crazy. I had never seen this before. A wooden one. Maybe for the sound, because it will make a lot of noise, or... <laughs> really? Yeah. This feels like metal. So you can get a wooden turbine into your house. Huh? This is definitely wood. Yeah, 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 you can hear it. It's like an industrial mammoth. Huh? Very nice. In a really deep sleep. This plant made under one or more of the following Parson patents. That's what it is. These are the patents. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's newer at least than this one. Yeah? yeah, yeah, but it's probably not much newer than 44. Life wires. I don't believe that. Nice. Uh, very cool. Shut down, start up, stand by. 
I mean, I understand now why they really wanted to save it. It's, I think, it's one of the most important industrial locations of the whole country. But how can you save this? It's going to cost a lot of money. And look, all the asbestos which has to be removed and stuff like that. Yeah, but it should be doable. Oh, that's why it has been closed that well. It has to be preserved, eh? Mm hmm And I want to try maybe still. The sad part is, a lot of people also don't really care about this stuff, right? Oh, here's another one. Wow. Wow. Viscous air filters must be cleaned periodically. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to make sure you really got the message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a circuit diagram, you know, kind of. Yeah, you know, tells you how it works, yeah, what's connected to what. Oh, here are the boilers, yeah, storage tank. Oh, wait, maybe we can see what's behind it then, eh? So, hmm. oil cooler, it says there, oil, oil tank. Oil tank, yeah, so it was oil too. It's really cool. Even just to shoot like this would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a wooden railing. Oh, yeah. mm. Did you see this before? A no. Wooden railing? No. It's back in the days when they built everything nice and decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like the paintings. Nowadays they just have plastic plates, but back in the days they used to paint it. You can actually still see the lines where they framed With it. The pencil. <laughs> I think you have to watch out walk. Oh yeah. The depth trap. How deep is it? It's like two, three meters, two meters. Oh. But look, it's really rusty. You shouldn't go too far. But wow, look at the condenser. I have a control room and I know there are like at least six turbines still, eh? old ones, really special ones and they should be amazing. Um, I don't think that we should walk any further because this looks like a real death trap, right? Look at this. No, no, okay. You know, the condenser we got from the film already, yeah? But it looks I mean, you would think that it turns into concrete, you know, because yeah. there's the boilers back there, right? I mean, maybe on the other side is better. Yeah, yeah the other side will be better. Yeah, be Watch out where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check in the middle. Also, countries. Oh, yeah, you can walk here. Wow. I think there's a special type of decay yeah, on the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of humidity inside. Yeah? So you've got a different decay than above the ground. Yeah? I think it's just everything has just the same level of decay, you know? Uh-huh, that's, yeah. Yeah. And oxidated? Versus in like other places, it depends more on the conditions in that room. And the roof yeah, as well. The roof, yeah. yeah. Like you might have a really decayed room next to it, it's perfect. Also Parson. Yeah, I think everything in here is British made, you know? I think British, right? Yeah. yeah. Does the company still exist? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Oh my God. Aren't they the most beautiful you've ever seen? Very cool. 
They are really special. Looks like a piano. I wonder if everything in here is made explosion proof. Because also just look how those, everything goes in it, how good it's made, you know? Uh -huh. Very different looking boilers also. Yeah, that's where, that's the injectors were here probably. You know? They used to be on it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. took them off, yeah. I think so too. <laughs> Amazing. Big ones as well. Is it bronze? You see, it's green. It looks like it could be brass, yeah. Okay. Is this? We have the end, huh? I think yeah. we shouldn't go uh, up. It's all made of wood. Uh, you don't want to step on that. No? Oh, and look how crusty the staircase is. The grates. Yeah. <laughs> look at the grates on the side, yeah. I mean, look, that whole boiler is like splitting open. <laughs> see? Yeah. It's like a cardboard power station. Let's see if we can find the old part. Do we want to go in here and then walk the other way back? Maybe? Sure. That's maybe easier, eh? Mm -hmm. But look at this, one more view. Oh my God. You can see it's reinforced because of the shape. It's a bunker shape here. Yeah. Got the echo? Yes. Oh, now we go to the empty hall. Yeah. So if you want to go back, it's kind of easier. Yeah. We're not going to die. Ah, what this could be, you see, maybe this was a workshop. I see cables on the right side. There is a drilling machine on the left. Maybe they took out the machines, eh? Maybe they just took all the stuff they could take. That's possible, yeah. Because actually, look, now you can see the shape on the ground. Do you see it? Look, you can see how there's like an outline. See how they added that? See it? So maybe they're gone, Bob. <sighs> really be uh, a pity. But I can't imagine if this is there, the others won't be there. But look at the space, man. It's massive. I think this is bigger than the one building. That's massive. And here you can see limestone on the top. I'm glad I have a good flashlight too. <laughs> you can see all the space. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's epic. It looks really good. It looks epic. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be one of those moments which I never forget. Yeah. One of those floors. Fire extinguisher. Yeah. yeah. Massive one. Never seen such a big one. You needed like a couple of guys to move that thing. Yeah, that's really heavy. <laughs> Those are breakers. You see it like at home, you can switch a breaker out. That's how they switch the breakers. You see that? These things came out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know they're separate because I see the power station sometimes. I see a yeah. separate standing. Mm -hmm. So if a breaker went, boop, boop, that's how they switched it. All right. Move more. Yeah, see, yeah. fuse, breaker. So I think it's all breakers. Mm -hmm. They probably just a breaker for the transformer, the breaker for, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Battery room. Yeah, I've seen that many times though, yeah. that they're still left. <laughs> Crazy, because that's very toxic, yeah. The submarine is the most battery room of this. Is this some kind of control room? This is the most DJ control panel you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> There's a, is a chalk on there or what? Uh, that's uh, from the ceiling, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. This is 
full of water. And a sign man. Oh Look behind you is another one. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is a good shape still. Eh? Yeah. Stone. That's a transformer. It's a spaghetti. The English Electric Co. London. Oh, here's another one. What does it say? 300 kVA transformer. This thing is much bigger than I could ever imagine. Yeah. Periclou? Not a big ass fan. Oh, well, that's an uh, air shop uh, for fresh air, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that would be my guess. One of the air shelves. It's pretty high. Oh, happy article scale level for me. Like a nine and a half? <laughs> Could it even be better than this? It can always be better. <laughs> a quick peek. I have a feeling it's not a fan room. It is not a dead end, but it's a, a, like a tunnel kind of thing. It's like a hospital tunnel. Maybe it is a, not a good idea. <laughs> oh my God. No. No. <laughs> no, we're not going in there I mean, this is literally like a hospital tunnel. Epic. You should see how far this goes left and right. It's endless. I just wonder what would go that way. I don't know. Maybe some cables directly to some substations. Yeah, could be. Diesels. Pretty nuts. Oh, this is definitely the highlight. Yeah. They are so rusty, they just fall apart. Eh? Yeah. You gotta be really careful with all these things, although they look pretty good still. Yeah, but look, I mean. Be careful here. If you're on a boat. It looks about the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those in Italy, they're pretty similar. We just noticed one of the microphones is turned off. <laughs> I don't know how, but probably with bending or something, but yeah, uh, well. At least it works now. Uh, so we, should we go to the back, see what's Yeah, there? yeah, there is a passage in the back too. And what I just noticed, it looks like they named all the passages. Really? It's kind of funny. <laughs> English street names or something. Yeah. See, but it looks, it looks like there's water here sometimes. There's a water line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can clearly see it. Yeah, the water. Like here, you can see it really good, actually. Yeah, Whoa. we were lucky that uh, it's not a rainy shit. season. Be careful with this section. <laughs> oh, you almost fell. <laughs> see how you see it on the bottom of those things? 
Sorry. And then on the wall there, look. Yeah. Hmm. Cross passage. All right, what do you think? More? I guess so. Yes, there are. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. But these are turned, huh? Yeah, they face the other way. Yeah. Wow, look. You want to climb up there, right? Look at that hole up there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, also, this one is, is painted black still. You can still see some of the original paint. Oh yeah, this one is in a better shape, eh? Yeah. Or is it just covered in oil? No. Oh. I mean, it has oil on it, that's for sure. But see in red lettering? Yeah, oh, no, they were more green, see? Yeah. Cool. Cool. This is a DC generator. They probably put that on the front of it, you know? Yeah. That was probably AC, that's DC. I mean, it's almost like Edwin's electric company, right? <laughs> right? That could be you. Yeah. Maybe in another lifetime, man. This was my power plant. <laughs> These diesel engines are unique. There are only 12 left and half of them is located here. Oh, here's the control room. Check. Very cool. It's really nice, eh? What are the, is it metal panels? Yeah, it's metal because you can see the rust eh? there. But this is... I mean, that, or, that ornate detail is kind yeah, of Yeah, the, the little crown. Eh? <laughs> it's like they just... Oh, well, let's make something. This is the queen of the power <laughs> stations. Amazing, these panels. I really like those things. Instead of a press button, you got these massive handles. Eh? This looks like a newer part, eh? Not, I don't know, or maybe a different one. I don't know, it's hard to say. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice, really nice. Just a shame that this little piece is gone because we found a few pictures on the internet and there was a really nice gauge here. Standing. Yeah, I think it is this room. It is this room. Yeah, maybe yeah. there's another one, but I doubt it because I think the crown was also in the picture. Yeah, because the newer turbines there, they have all the controls right next to them. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, well, let's continue. We'll, let's see what we find. Yeah. Right? The air in here is it's pretty good. Eh? It's not too bad, no. It's not too bad. I'm sure there's stuff in it that we don't want to breathe, but... All right. Oh, there are more control rooms, I think, here. Switch room. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the right first, eh? Oh wow, more control panels here. And a transformer here too. Looks like these are the same as on the other side, eh? almost the same.
cool. Substation, it says above that door. Here is one of those again. Not a transformer. Yeah. Great. Damn, it's endless, eh? Endless switch rooms. Oh, there's a again <laughs> strange uh, substance again here. Uh, We're finding new organisms. <laughs> Here you can see the difference between the concrete wall and the actual thing they excavated. You see? There's space in between. You don't want to get that on your head. Wow, looks cool. All the painted stuff. Pericleu. It's the first Maltese word I know now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Pericleu. <laughs> Which is pericolo in Italian. Oh, really? Pericolo di crollo. Oh, that means it. like a oh, danger. Oh, here's the map. <gasps> Ooh, damn. Well spotted, yeah. Hey, but this map is pretty massive. They just draw it eh, yeah, on, on, the, on the stone. Eh? Imagine back in the days they have to make this. Why does it say army there? See, number oh, four yeah. ring main army. They built this thing in case of a war eh, that they could provide electricity. Yeah. Well, we definitely need to look into some of these things. That's for sure. Uh huh. Because there could be more that we don't know. My God. Was it all flooded? So I think there's a part two coming. Uh, it's flooded, but there's a really big tunnel going in there. There's another part here. We climb to a little hole in the wall. But the water's pretty deep. But luckily I brought some boots and uh, <coughs> I'm quickly gonna check what's over here. It's like, what, just above your ankles? Yeah. Not too bad. Oh, it gets a little deeper there, huh? <laughs> you can hear the echo. Just tells you how big it is. Just walk through the tunnel with water. This is called epic exploring, right? So this is just old storage, but the space in here is huge. Yeah, this is gonna be too deep here. I decide to continue, and with wet feet, I enter these massive hallways. Wow. Lots of old stuff here. 
I film with my phone to show Edwin what's in this part. Man's box. Look at this stuff. Time to get back to the other part. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With Squarespace you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated, members only content. It can also automatically post pictures from social media channels on your website or automatically push website content to social media. It's an all-in-one, easy to use platform. So go to squarespace.com slash unbeatenpod to get a free trial and save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Time to say goodbye to this amazing spot. We have to leave if you want to go out unseen. Thanks for watching and see you on our next adventure.